call them planks of wood? Um, I, would, I don't call them planks. <laughs> what are they called? I just call them boards. Boards, okay. Boards. And what size did you say they was? Two by twelves and two by sixes. Alrighty, y'all. Today, I'm on my way to town. And uh, I'm going to go get some lumber today. I'm going to try to uh, work on our staircase. Um, if you've watched many of our videos, you know that our stairs right now, I just have, you know, plywood down for the stairs. So I'm going to get some uh, 2x6s and 2x12s. And we're going to make us some nice stair treads. And uh, we're going to stain, they're going to be pine. And then we will stain them and probably put a good clear coat over them. And uh, I'm going to make some rails. That way, you know, we can put our, we need a baby gate at the bottom of the stairs. Because uh, right now, the way they are, it's just kind of dangerous for Finn. So we're going to put uh, some rails up at the bottom of the stairs and get the treads on. And uh, I don't know if we'll get them stained today, but uh, we're going to get them all in place. And uh, that'll be a lot safer for everybody, because right now they're open back. So, I think it'll be a good little project. It's rainy today. Just uh, not a good day to do anything outside. So, I thought I'd show you a little bit of these country, uh, country roads we live on. We live about nine miles out of town. We'll uh, go to the hardware store, and uh, when we get back, we'll, we'll put some stair treads on. All right, I made it back home with our lumber, and uh, believe it or not, I can haul 16 feet lumber on my short bed truck, and I'm going to show you. These are 16 feet, 2 by 12s. And look, the back window's gone. So that's one thing I like about this uh, avalanche I got. You can take that back window out and haul 16 feet lumber. And I just stick it up you know, towards the windshield. But that saves me from pulling a trailer around and stuff. And I put me a strap on her, and away we went. So, I'm going to get started now. And uh, when I get going, I'll show you what I'm doing. Alright, the first thing we're going to do on our stairs is we're going to make us a skirt board. And this is the board that goes up the side of the wall on your stairs. You know, it's a, just a decorative piece, like a, a, a trim or something. And um, I cut these out the same way as you would cut out a stringer for a stairs. Um, but instead of using the 2 by 12 for like you would a stringer, I'm using a 1 by 12 for my skirt board. And I'm putting my skirt board on first because I'm going to have exposed treads and risers. So I want them to butt up to this and not have a big crack. Because these are hard to, if you was to, if you have, if you ain't putting carpet or something over it, and you would have to have notched this out, you know, to ever overlap on your stairs and stuff. So, what I'm doing, my stairs have a 7 inch rise and a 10 inch run. So, to get this, I just take my framing square and I put, uh, on, I start here on the 7. And uh, I put this, if I was starting at the bottom, I would do this at the bottom corner. I put my 7 here and then I would line up over here on this end on 10. And that gives me my 10 inch run and my 7 inch riser. And now I've got this square on here just to hold it down. And then I just mark that. And then we move right along. Every stair. And um, if you need to know, if you have a certain distance that you need to build a set of stairs, while well, you measure the distance that you want your stairs. You know, if you want them to end in a certain place, and then you div uh, divide that, and uh, you can figure out how many, how we know what rise and runs you're going to have. 
um, if you buy a square so this Swanson square is my favorite square that I use and it come with a handy little uh, booklet that has all the calculations for cutting stair treads and the rafters and stuff and um, I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can get these Swanson squares they're heavy duty they're aluminum and uh, I use this one on every job I do and this is the big Swanson Big 12 Speed Square. And I really love this one. I've got a 12 and a 6 inch. And the 12 I use for almost everything. And uh, with it I hardly ever break out the, the big old framing square. But for the stair treads, you know, it works out good. And you can do uh, the stairs with these too. It's just a little, a little harder. But that's what we do. I'm going to do this all the way up this board. And uh, I know from my measurements that the top of my stairs in the house to the bottom is 117 inches. So, you know, I'll measure out enough of these to do all the stairs up. And then we'll square off the ends so flush with the wall. And uh, we'll cut these out. Every one of these will be cut out with a circle saw right on the line. And we'll take it in the house and see how she looks. Alright, me and the cat's got our uh, skirt uh, laid up here, and if it's pretty good, um, uh, the little cracks in it, that won't hurt nothing, that'll be covered when I put these treads and uh, risers up. So now, I've scribed off level with the wall here where I want it, same at the top, and I'll go take it out, and we'll cut that off, and it'll be ready. in here and I've done started the stairs and got the landing done and um, Lathan's going to do a little talking and ask a few questions because I'm bad not to describe things how other people need it described because I'm used to just jumping in and doing it and having it all in my head so she's going to ask us a few things of what I've done and what I used all right my first question is what kind of wood is this um, this is just uh, spruce lumber from your local hardware, a bit Lowe's or something, and I use two by sixes and two by twelves. It's not treated. They call them planks of wood. Uh, I, I don't call them planks. <laughs> what are they called? I just call them boards. Boards, okay, boards. And what size did you say they was? Two by twelves and two by sixes. Two by twelves and, and two they're by really, sixes. And they're really not a full. Uh, 12 inches. They're 11 and a quarter inches. So these right here on top are 2 by 12s. Yep, these, and they're 11 and a quarter inches and an inch and a half thick. What and do you call the top board on a stair? The tread. The tread. What do you call the backboard? A riser. So the riser is the what board? The 2 by 6 is the riser. The 2 by 6 is the riser. Yep. Alright. And how do you measure each rise and run or whatever? Um, I just measure from the end, from the wall over to the end where I want it. And then I'll have all this out here covered with another board, another skirt board like I showed uh, cutting earlier. Mm -hmm. Except it'll be flipped upside down. And it'll cover all the cracks and right. stuff. So you just take a regular tape line? Yeah, uh, I just take my tape line. Show me an example. And I, I want the, the risers, I make them flush with the wall. And then right here where this is uh, going to have a handrail, mm -hmm. I want this to have an overhang. So okay. I allowed myself an inch and a half right here so I can have uh, my board, my scrap board will take three quarters of it. And then I'll have three quarter inches overhang. And then I'll take and sand all the edges and sand all the boards when I'm done. Alright. Well, how do you hold them in place? After you get them measured, once and I get them, get them how I want them. I put my tread. Uh, once I get my tread the way I want it, I take and I put liquid nails. Okay. Down. 
And uh, I've got plywood. And you get this at your local hardware yep, store? Yep, any hardware has it. All right. I put liquid nails down. And you got to have one of them thingy-majiggers to yep, you gotta squirt have it out, right? Got to have you a caulking gun. Okay. And I put my liquid nails down. And then when I, then I take this little uh, adjustable square that I've got. Turn it down. All right. And I got it set. I want to. I have an inch and a quarter overhang, and I've got it set on the inch and a quarter. And I, <laughs> Can't see for the cat's big old well, tail. I stick it under here, and until uh, it's but. Hello, up. Miner. Hello, my pretty boy. <laughs> that way, I have the same overhang on both right. sides. Okay. That's a handy little tool to have. Looks cool. And then, uh, All right, and then you have then, the liquid nails. Did you already say you do it with yep, the finishing? Put, nope. I'm oh, sorry. Then I take a two and a half inch finishing nails. Let me see the box. Uh, they're just so they can common see. two and a half inch finishing Common nails. to you, but not common to me, so let me see the box. And if you want the, if you want a good nail that's solid and won't break, I recommend these maize nails. Awesome. And then I put me uh, two in, and then uh, if with you don't want to... handy wanna, dandy hammer. Yep, with your handy dandy hammer. And I use a slick headed hammer for this, so I don't leave no rough marks. <laughs> and then if you want them, if you're scared you're going to leave a big indention, you can take a punch and set your, or a nail set and check them on in. Okay. Anything else you want to add? Uh, not yet. Okay. Thank We're you. We're going to keep it going. All right. Love you. Love you. All righty. I'm about half, almost halfway up the stairs now. And uh, I'm going to put my liquid nail down and put this tread down. And uh, this has saved us a lot of money. It's given us that rustic stairs look that we wanted. And we'll have about $300, or probably 275 roundabout, in this whole staircase, besides the stringers. Um, but compared to putting oak treads like you would buy, well, this has saved us uh, probably seven or eight hundred dollars. It saved. So I'm gonna put my liquid nail. I put me a big line on every above every stringer. Then I put me a couple big lines in between. I don't think they could ever go nowhere. Cut these pretty tight. And now I take my square, set on inch and a quarter, and I'll pick them in till they're right on the, the depth that I want. That's it. Now I take my Two and a half inch finish nails. I'm going to put me two on each side. And uh, but if you don't want to see no nails showing, which I don't mind these finish nails, well, you could just probably glue them down and screw from the bottom. And when I get done, I'm going to go underneath and put screws up through this plywood into each tread. And also, underneath the lips on the top, I have quarter round that I'm going to be putting under there. That way when you look up it looks nice and dressed and pretty. And then uh, that's about it. Like take your next riser, put him in place, nail him on, and keep it going. So we'll uh, keep it going and we'll show you the finished product when we get done. Alright, here's the finished product. Other than staining and painting, we're going to be staining the top and painting the backs. We're going to be staining these with a uh, Minwax 
um, early American, I believe it's called. And you can see I got these two posts already made. And um, I'm going to be making me some rails. And um, these are just simple posts I made out of 1x6 and 1x4 boards. And nothing fancy. We want to look kind of rustic. And uh, here's looking up the staircase. And uh, got the skirt board on there and all the treads and backs. So this is a good, uh, pretty simple way to uh, have some pretty good looking stairs. And uh, not have too much money in them. So I think I said um, stain and all, I've got about $275 in these stairs. And uh, they're fairly rustic and they'll match our cabin well. So, I like them a lot. I'm very pleased with the turnout. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And uh, I'll leave some descriptions and some links in the, in the description box below for some of the things I used in this video. So, um, we appreciate y'all watching. Please like and subscribe. God bless y'all.